This is practice A for section 1.5. We're going to look at the bottom half of the front. In number 10, they're telling you that angle 1 and angle 2 are supplementary angles. Given the measure of angle 1, find the measure of angle 2. So it's just like the one we did previously, except now the angles are supplementary. So now together, angle 1 and angle 2 add to 180. So you're just doing 180 minus each of these angles to figure out what angle 2 is. So in number 10, angle 2 would be 33 degrees. In number 11, you'd have 86. In number 12, you'd have 142. In number 13, you'd have 59. So those angles there are what you would call the supplement of the angle that's given. Number 14, 14 through 16, they're looking for the measure of angle ABD and the measure of angle DBC. So make sure you're able to give those angle measures. Okay, so here's a diagram of number 14. I see a straight angle, I see a right angle, and then I see two angles over here that are next to the right angle. Well, I know that a right angle and then another right angle make a straight angle. So these two angles, this 2x and this 3x, I know they have to add to 90. Those are complementary angles. That's what we have to start visualizing in these diagrams. So 2x and 3x together must equal 90. That's what that means. They're complementary. So 5x equals 90 when you combine those like terms. And then you're going to divide both sides by 5. and you're going to get x equals 18, which is good. But they didn't ask you to find x. They asked you to figure out what these angle measures were. So 2 times x, that's 2 times 18. That gives you 36. 3 times 18 gives you 54. Now, you know that you're right because together these add up to 90. Okay, so I'll make a little note there. These two angles are complementary. That's what this section is about, identifying your angle pairs. So in number 15, look at these two angles here. What's their relationship? Well, they're supplementary angles, and they're also adjacent. You could say they're a linear pair, too. So together, these angles must add up to 180. So here's the algebra. 4x plus 6 plus 11x minus 6 equals 180. Combine your like terms. The 6's cancel. 4x and 11x give you 15x. Okay, now how many times does 15 go into 180? Pretty sure it's 12. Now, I've made mistakes on this before, so maybe I should check. 180 divided by 15 gives you 12. So you know x is 12. And again, x isn't what they're asking you for. They're asking you for the angle measure, so you better plug back in. Okay. So I'll just show you on the calculator how to do that. That way I'm not thinking real hard here either. 4 times 12 plus 6 gives you 54. 11 times 12 minus 6. That gives you 126. Those are your two answers. Those are the angles they wanted you to find. Now how do you know that you're right? These angles add up to 180. And that's what we said from the beginning. They had to be supplementary. Now, number 16 is exactly the same as number 15. Those are supplementary angles. So I'll write that in there. You can pause this video and set this up and try to solve it yourself. I'll have the work here in a second.
You should solve for x to be 10, and when you plug back in, you should get 101 degrees for your obtuse angle, and then 79 degrees for your acute angle. Okay, last section here, we're going to use the diagram below to tell whether the angles are vertical, a linear pair, or neither. Okay, so if you're not sure, let's just look at angles 1 and 2 right here. See how they make this line? That's a linear pair. Angles 2 and 4, they're made by these two lines, and they're not next to each other. That's an example of vertical. Okay, so angles 1 and 2 we said was a linear pair. Notice how I'm just using an abbreviation there. Angles 1 and 3, those are vertical. Angles 2 and 4, those are vertical. They're across from each other. They're non-adjacent angles made with two lines. Angle 3 and angle 4 are a linear pair. Angle 5 and angle 6 make this line. That's a linear pair. Angle 5 and angle 7, they might be supplementary angles. That's obtuse. That's acute. They could add up to 180 but they're not a linear pair if they're not adjacent. So I'm definitely saying neither on this one. Number 23, we have angle 6 and angle 8. Same concept. That's acute. That's obtuse. They could be supplementary angles, but they're not adjacent supplementary, so they're not a linear pair. Angle 7 and angle 8, that's adjacent angles. They definitely make a line, so they're adjacent supplementary. That's a linear pair.